Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I'm here today with a quickie, a real quickie. I needed a card and as you can see I already had a background. Um, these are, you can see the size, it's ATC size and I that's left over from my ATC a day 2017 and I use them here for the card. You can see me here printing or stamping this script stamp with archival ink on and wipe it off. That leaves this faded print. You can see that better on the close-up later. Oh, I will show it. Will I show? I think I will show it to you. I really like that and it's perfect on alcohol ink. This is Yupo paper actually I bought from Ranger. Um, I had Yupo paper but this big leaves and um, they are, it's too thin, you know, you really can't properly work with it to make cards because um, when you glue it down it will always um, be, yeah, you can see the glue under it and it looks awful. It's too thin and this is a really nice weight, perfect for card making I think and ATCs even. So that's what I did. Um, for my ATC a day I only needed one card but um, one of this Yupo paper is perfectly cut into four ATC sizes. So I kept them and I thought I would like to use them later. But as you can see I used them already because <laughs> I was really... Um, yeah, I was in a hurry. I, I needed this card immediately. So I glued it down here temporarily on my um, work surface to what I wanted actually I wanted to have a, a solid stem flower stem but I haven't got one in that size so that's why I used this Donald Downey stencil and black acrylic paint and I'm very very carefully here that I'm not zipping under the stencil that means I dip it into the acrylic paint, if you can see me that doing that on the right, and then I dab it really off as much as possible that I only have the tiniest amount of paint on my makeup sponge here. You can always go over it again and again, rather do that than um, have an, a really messy um, stencil image. So I glue that onto black cardstock here to have a bit of contrast and that will go down on a heavy watercolor paper and that will be actually glued down with a 3D foam tape so that I get even more dimension so I have a bit of dimension through this black or dark grey actually it is dark grey um, framing through the layer and I have the dimension through the 3D foam tape and uh, yeah that's absolutely perfect so um, as I said before if you want to see me making this alcohol ink on a Yupo paper then you can watch my um, weekly ATC a day 2017 on Friday I always put it up on Friday and I show the whole process there. This um, Yupo paper from uh, Ranger is really perfect. You have this perfect four ATCs and uh, of course I always have four ATCs when I do a swap. I don't know why but to me it seems the right amount. <laughs> so it would be perfect for that. But as I said, and here you can see me fuzzing around. I would have left it actually like this, you know, not in order. I really liked the idea, but I'd rather put it back into order because uh, the person who receives, received this card, yeah, is a bit of a more a conservative person, you know. And yeah, yeah, it's a compromise, you know, earning money with this card. So that's uh, what I have to consider when I make them what type of person gets it and yeah so but I like it as well but as I said I would have done it the other way around okay here I use my 3d foam tape and um, this gives a nice um, yeah dimensional look as well that 
won't go through the post or through the mail so that's why it's okay uh, when you send something through a mail it's always better to have you know this this um, craft foam you can get in shades to put that behind it that um, there is no gap it always works best so and that's it no it's not sorry I put some drew drops on it with a glossy accent I thought there was a tiny bit you know this tiny touch was missing and that's why I do and that's it already you will see a close-up a very short close-up this time this card only took me 15 minutes okay no surprise because the background was already finished but um, even though I think it's a nice card and I hope you like it if so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to watch on Friday and even on Wednesday I have my videos up on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays you know that so thanks again guys and I wish you a fantastic time and I hope I will see you soon bye bye